Good morning. Good morning. Welcome to Lumiere's for breakfast. This is the first time. Well, it's the first time it's been like a sit down breakfast, but we don't normally do the sit down breakfast. So. No, we normally share the cabanas, but. Because Everybody else is getting off this yeah, shit. All these people are getting off. Bye. Well, maybe not all of them, but most of them. Yeah, because we're going to de lounge with other people that have booked back to back. Yeah. And we'll have to re COVID test there. We have to stay there till about half eleven. Yeah. And then a few things on the ship will be open. Most of it will still be shut. I for guess a few they hours, want to deep clean a few parts of the ship properly. Mm -hmm. Bye, everyone. Bye, We will real soon, like tonight. Like, literally in like 12 <laughs> hours, we'll set sail with you again. Yeah. So you have fruit and cooked bread. <laughs> Look at what I've got. It's an omelette with chicken and green peppers and Swiss cheese and something else I can't remember and it looks amazing. And this is all the people who are leaving. Goodbye now. Goodbye. Sayonara. <laughs> so we did a ship tour last time we were on the Magic, so I'm not going to do one this time, but I just thought I'd show the uh, adult area, Quiet Cove, because there is literally nobody here. This is the adult pool. We've got Signals Bar there. And then there's two hot tubs. And then over there is Cove Cafe, which is like a coffee shop, but one that uh, you have to pay for the coffees in. And there's the slide there. That's I went on yesterday. That bit up there is concierge. We can't go there. Hello. It's very nice. We're now in the family area and the goofy pool. Which is where Funnel Vision is. There's the funnel vision where they show the movies. In the middle there is the goofy pool, which is the family pool. And then they have two family hot tubs just here. Over there is Pinocchio's pizza room where they sell the pizza. Oh, there's... I'm never ever gonna be on a ship this quiet again, I don't think. There's another bar there too. And then there is the slide from the funnel. And then this is the splash and play area and it has the yellow slide from that funnel. That's the duck and diner where you can get burgers and hot dogs and shawarma. And there's a little kiddie pool in there as well. And there's the splash bit at the back under the slide. There's Daisy's Delights back there which does salads and sandwiches and stuff. And then there's a tiny little kids splash zone in here that's all the pool areas without anybody in them then this but it's a little touchpad thing yeah it's really good i don't know what the difference is between a touchpad and a button other than maybe it's easier to clean that than yeah. buttons like that because like buttons like that dirt yeah. and stuff can but maybe get you still have to touch it so yeah i think also the outside of the lifts these you don't have to touch these you just put your hand nearby and it does that, see? And then it calls the lift. For some reason it called that one, even though the other one just closed. But... This is deck four, which is where you can walk all the way around the outside of the ship. And they have a shuffleboard. And they put some lounges out here as well. Um, yeah, once again, there's hardly anybody here. Everybody's getting off, going back to lovely Tilbury. Oh, there's a boat. A little tugboat. Uh, I don't know if we showed, did we show the assembly station thing when we got on? I don't think we did. So previously you used to have to go to the, one of the theatres and they would tell you the safety stuff and they would tell you what to do if there was an emergency. Because of Covid obviously they're not doing that. So in the app you have to find your assembly station. Ours was M but and then you'll have to scan it in the app and register that you were all there 
and in an emergency this is where you would come. We're in the D lounge now. Hi guys. We're a bit early, we got here at half nine instead of ten. But... It was because they started fully yeah, drinking the ship. we were wandering around the ship but we felt like we were getting in the way. So. Like they were trying to really set up when the next people arrived. Yeah. So we decided like let's just come here, give them the space to actually do what they need to do. I think we're allowed to take our face mask off here, but we wanted to tell you we didn't have to COVID check the second time. Yeah, if you're fully vaccinated, which you had to be to come on anyway. Yeah, an adult, but children don't need to be, so I think they're going to COVID check any child or yeah. um, every adult had to be. There was no exemptions, was there? So, no, so we didn't have to re COVID check. No. Um, we just basically checked in with them. They which told is. Us we've got to redo our. Health questionnaire, uh, and then our assembly point you have to do again to say that you know. I no, guess that's like a legal requirement of like every cruise, whether you're in back to back yeah, yeah. or not. But, but um, you're not because we got a thing for our door saying if you're moving staterooms, make sure all your cases are ready to be moved by like housekeeping. But we didn't get anything for if you tested positive now, so we didn't really pack up. Like my suitcase is open under the bed. But we didn't even get COVID checked here. Yeah. So Double vaccinated. Never mind. Yeah. We were in here for about two hours. They said about half eleven we'd be able to go out. I have a few pages, like it's ninety yeah, pages. I'm gonna finish the book. We've also got. I got cartoons and There's second breakfast. Like drinks and snacks and stuff. The first breakfast. Over there if we need it. So and, um, yeah, we're just gonna chill here. Yeah, and then they'll release us and. There's a few things open, so we'll... Yeah, Cove Cafe's open. I think they'll open the pool, our big pool, because it's a lot of adults with no children, so... They'll open it at some point, because people start getting on at like one-ish, won't they? If not, the main pool is open, so we could go get our cousins done and get in the kids' pool for a bit. Yeah. But today is the first day of weather that doesn't look... It, I think it literally started raining. Yeah. We uh, it doesn't matter. We've had some glorious days in our first three days. Once we sail, they'll find some blue sky. Hopefully. They've been so good at finding sunspots. So. Yeah. But yeah. um, yeah. We're gonna chill. Somebody went to get a drink and ended up coming back with pastries. You're so easily led. I have no self-control. <laughs> Completely empty atrium. We've been given clearance to come back in. This is where people will be coming on later, but for now, there is hardly anybody here. So we're in, how long were we in the D lounge for? An hour? Yeah, probably just over an hour. And we got there earlier, so he said 10, we got there at half nine. 10.40. I just felt like I wanted we to give them out. time to tidy up properly. And I felt like we were just in the way. That's the current atrium. There is nobody. I wonder what time the first boarding group is. Like, I think it's 12 and then they've got to do their COVID test. So even if you get here at 12, you're not going to get on until gone half 12. That's why I think most stuff will start opening about one. Like the normal stuff. I think we should just find a spot and read. Okay. We're just wandering around. <laughs> Again, I'm not going to do a full tour this time because we did it last time. It's the It's a Small World Nursery. But seeing as there is nobody on this ship, yeah, in the it's a the good time to show. Thirty people. There we go. Playing this voyage. Jungle cruise. Shang Chi's on tonight. Yeah, we should try and stay up and watch that. We could watch that at half eleven, or it's on tomorrow at eleven fifteen. Oh, what PM again? Yeah. Okay. So we could do either of them because we haven't seen that. The plan was to lie in this morning, but we didn't. Now we woke up at six instead, which is the earliest we've woken up. Here's the entrance to the cinema. We're going to go see if we can get in our room again. So we have the same room, so they don't need to do anything to it. So I hope not, because all of our stuff's still in it. Because that is where we should get us quite early, because we do have stuff in our There's house. toilets here by the cinema. We need to go up one more. Look at the goof star. I love that picture. We have a letter on our door. Do this mean cruise line? Thank you for sailing on back to back cruises. 
We're pleased to welcome you on board once again. We hope you have another magical voyage with us. We value your guest and wish you another bon voyage. Bon voyage. We also have our new room keys. Fabian and Captain Mickey. Uh, you have no idea this, how happy that makes This is the car park and there is our car. How you doing? Almost all by himself. Just having a little wander around. And look, there's people cleaning the roof there. It's a bit windy today. It's a bit chilly. But look, London Cruise Terminal. That's where Vibe is, which is like the teen area. It's up in that funnel. Which is really unfair. I want a little lounge up in the funnel. Down this way, back to the adult area and the adult pool. I don't know if you've shown this at any point either, but all of these doors you don't have to touch. You just press the button and in you come. This is the concierge. We're not rich enough to go in there. And there, that's the entrance to buy if you go up those stairs. This is the uh, aqueduct. So you're all out there, you stand in the capsule, and then the trap door opens, and you come down, and you end up down there. It goes over the edge of the ship, but you can't really see out of it when you're on it. But I'm holding my phone very tight. But yeah, you can't really see when you're in it that it goes off the edge of the ship. I think it's more of a space thing. Hello again. Welcome to our room again. I don't know what we last filmed. What did we last film? I don't know, but I feel like we just spent the day being like, I want to go to our room. Every yeah, day, we, we have. Been like, I want to be in my room right like, now. And today we're like, you can stay in the ship. Yeah, but nothing's open. Yeah, because we can't go anywhere. 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 Because we can't go Cabana's opened, which should have been 12.45, but it was about one. Yeah. Then we had lunch. What did we do after that? Um, Not a lot. We went back to our room. A lot. Which again is an issue because they lock them off so that the new guests can't come in until their rooms are ready, but that means we couldn't get to our room very easily. Yeah. We had to go to guest services and sort something out. Yep. Yeah. I don't know what else we've done. Took pictures. Yeah. But now we're going for a swim anyway, because now we've come back to our room. Now that they're all accessible. So we can get changed to go for a swim. It's a bit breezy, but you'll be fine. Yeah. Maybe. Quick update for you, it's, it's raining now, but we thought it was gonna rain all day today and it's only just started, so I'll take that. Um, just got the news that the US is going to be accepting UK and EU visitors for a double jab from November. So we're currently sat in the bar uh, planning holidays. And I'm now gonna have to run again through the rain. I want to see your top. It's back to front. Tango! We're watching Tango. And we will be in a minute. See? Tango! We had some really good news today. I already told them. Oh! Sorry, when I went to the toilet. We can go to America! From yeah. November! We've been planning in the bar. Oh, okay. <laughs> It's very windy, I don't know if you can hear, but we're on the move. We took off much earlier today than we did on Friday. Yeah, we were watching Tango. We did watch Tango on Friday and we sailed at like 8 pm and we watched Tango tonight and we sailed that during Tango. That is windy. I felt my head like I was I was against the back. There was like right. a railing behind us. Yeah, and the railing like was like right, so I knew we'd started to move, but I didn't know if they just turned the engine yet. Yeah, there we go. Past the docks. We are being followed by an Italian vessel. They're leaving behind Landon. And I'm gonna flip it, ready? Oh, that's my hand. Just flip sides. <laughs> you there. do that all the time. There we go. We're on the move again. We just watched Tangled. Yeah. The musical. Did you enjoy it? Yeah. 
it's very good. It's really my favourite production on like the seas. Very, very ready for dinner. Yeah. At Rapunzel's, which is very apt. This is our view behind. The docks. Sorry, are you showing off your tangledness? I think we might have already shown your tangledness. But there's the tangledness again. Double tangled. There you go. <laughs> Good dancing skills. Well done. Well done. We're in a race and we're losing. Well, we're winning, but he's catching up, so we're yeah, going to be losing. But we're big, so it's going to have to take a while to take out. Hello! Honk your horn! Yeah, honk your horn. It's night time again, which means the lights are on. Music, la la la. Look at the funnel. Let's get the slide. He's gone past us, but he hasn't blown his horn. What a loser. We've just had dinner and now we've come back and there's like a little gorilla but he's eating the chocolate. The moon is very bright. There's a boat alongside us. We are still in the Thames at the moment. 